and welcome to class. This is Elite Geospatial. On today's training, we will be looking at how to export data on ArcGIS Pro. So I'll be citing two or three examples before the end of this video. Scenario whereby I have the administrative boundary of Taraba State here and uh, I just wanted to export maybe one or two local government out of the local government share file or future class here right now. So how do I do that? So to do that, you have to make a selection and there are varied, varied, uh, varieties of ways you can make selection in ArcGIS Pro or ArcGIS Desktop. So they are basically more of similar things. So to do that, as usual, you come to the LGA um, tab here under the content layer, and then you right click. You go to attribute table. And then on the attribute table, you make selection on whichever local government you want to uh, select and export. So I want to select multiple, I do like this. As I click one and drag down. So as I'm going down, it's going to make all the selection. All right, and then they are all going to be selected with their attributes. But in this instance, I'm only looking at, uh, I want to select Takum and uh, I want to export Takum as on this example. So after you make the selection, you close the attribute, then you right click again on the attribute this time around, you're coming down to data and then on data, there are quite a number of what you're going to use. Here you, you can be able to set the data source of this uh, um, data you've selected, this uh, portion you've selected, you can actually set a data source for it. You can also rematch the address. You can export just the table as to Excel or any other software you can open on. And then what we are interested in right now is to export it as a future. So I'm going to hit the export future button or so it's going to bring you back okay the input future is uh lga so what do you want the output to look like are you going to add some fields to it do you want to sort it that's what it's asking if you want to add a field okay is it that when i mean field i'm not saying you're going to add new one you can actually add new source what I'm talking about, like these fields that are already in the attribute currently, do you want to remove or add some? That's what it's saying. All right. So depending on what you want to do, but then we don't need to touch anything here. And we don't also need to do anything. So all you need to do is to select the output uh, folder or the, the, the location you want it to be. So here I'm still going to be in our folder. And then I can put it here or I'll put it on the map. So let's basically, since it's a rubber state, I'm going to put it inside this new folder. So now it's saying all futures. That is any type I decide to see if it's going to be any type at all. It's going to put your database, going to be share file, anyone at all. So that's what I mean by uh, this future classes all types all right and then it's not giving us any else. so it means all types can be safe here but unlike the actual desktop is either going to be a geodatabase or it has a restriction you either save it as a geodatabase or you're saving it as a shape file or as coverage but here is giving the liberty any format you save it that is within the ArcGIS format it's going to accept so if i enter this uh, default geodatabase is going to be saved if i decide to save it on this portion it's also going to be saved but i want it to be in shape file so i'm just going to name it um takum so after naming it i'm going to hit the save button and then uh it has accepted it, so i'm going to hit the ok then allow it to uh export the future so if we close down the 
uh, this button, you are going to see that it's only going to be the tacum that is there. All right, so now we are done with the first example. So let me here bring this back and use another case study. So the second case study will be, so to do the second example, I will come back to the LGA here and right click and go to attribute. So while on the attribute is showing plenty attribute already, so I'm going to uncheck anything because we make selection before of Stacum. So I'm going to uncheck all of it. That is cleaning. And then I'm going to come to select by attribute. And then it's saying LGA, yeah? And then the expression now will be where. It's asking me where. I'm going to say it's geopolitical zones. All right. So this geopolitical zone, let me say it contains geopolitical contains text. So now it's asking fill. I'm going to say fill. So let's see whether the expression is correct. Yes, I said the expression is valid. That is what I'm saying is that uh, the field I'm looking for contains geopolitical zone. That is, it's going to make selections of all the geopolitical zones. Now, it also asks me which of the geopolitical zones because there are about four geopolitical, three geopolitical zones. So you see, so the statement, let's use value and then go back to geopolitical zone. I'm saying, okay, if you select all the fields that has either Taraba South, Taraba North, North or Taraba Central. So I'm interested in the Central. So I'm going to also check the expression. It also said the expression is valid. So let's apply and see. So it has selected out all the let okay first. I selected out all the local government with uh, central as geopolitical zones. So let's close it out, and then we can now right click here again and come down to data and export future. And then we do as before. We click, and then we save it as Teraba underscore you press shift and the dash the normal dash on your keyboard so you press a shift and it to become underscore the rubber central so all of this contains the data that are from the rubber central so okay so it has selected out the local government that are within the rubber central so you can use select by attribute. And there are other uh, selection by attribute you can also practice, which I'm going to explain intensively on the uh, video, our title, uh, selection by attribute. So, but this is just for the purpose of this video to illustrate how you can ex uh, export such data. So you can do it by other methods, by calculate, by any method, anything you've selected, you can actually uh, um, export it. So this is basically how you export data on ArcGIS. All right, stay tuned, and this brings us to the end of this video. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Don't go anywhere.